this is supposed to be a lunar magic tutorial. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, considering I'm not Barb and have thousands of people watching me do lunar magic. But, um, um, yeah, so I've basically created an entire new user on, on my computer, so just downloaded a bunch of stuff. Um, all of these tools are easily, hold on, let me turn on the recording. Okay, yeah, all of these tools are easily obtainable. Um, on the, on SMW Central, um, I also created a shortcut to downloads because that's going to be useful. I also downloaded the retry patch already because I already know I'm going to, that's probably the first thing I'm going to show for custom stuff. But first, um, what you have to do is you have to get a unheaded ROM. This isn't, this isn't too difficult. You just gotta pretty much look it up on the internet. There might be one on SMW Central. I don't know. I got, I did not get mine on SMW Central, um, whenever I first started. So I didn't get this one on SMW Central, but, um, you can re rename this to whatever you want. And, um... When you open it, I don't think I've opened this yet. I don't think I've opened um, SNES 9X yet, so hold on. I'm gonna turn the volume up, maybe? Oh yeah, I need to turn my speakers on. There we go, okay. Maybe I should turn that back down. There we go. Okay, so I need to turn inputs on Um, hold on. Here we go. Up, left, down, right. B, A, Y, X. Um, start, select, L. Oops. Frick. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is going to be... Um, the level that I, I usually use is, is this level to test when I first start making a ROM. Then I set up a grid on the, um, overworld of a bunch of, um, just all of the levels lined up in a grid. But, so, there's a couple ways you can open something in Lunar Magic. You can go here and open this here or you can just open with from here um, well I, since I haven't done it before it's gonna have me do this what the heck okay this and so I always zoom it into here I mean I think everybody does that but so yeah um, first thing probably you want to do is just mess around with moving stuff so um you can't move sprites unless you're in this mode i'm gonna just briefly go over all the basic stuff this is add objects this will just add whatever you have clicked on and then you can expand it and um shrink it you know however you want um it's pretty much the same thing with sprites you can add in sprites if you want more in depth on all of that kind of stuff go see barb's tutorial i think he posted that on youtube like a year ago maybe two years ago probably not two years ago um but so control delete deletes everything in a level except for the entrances which you'll see are still in the original place um what i always do i want to zoom this in one so that it's this big this is how big i usually have it but um then i usually make a um Thing like this which is just a uh, square basically of the um, tiles I'm gonna use and I make that all act as stone so that if you clip through it you die um, you can do all kinds of things here first thing that um, that 
you that I usually mess with in a level is going to be okay one thing that's useful to know is that the screen will not scroll to a screen that doesn't have tiles on it so if you have this here it won't scroll to this to be able to see any of that area so I always try to make it go past a little bit whenever I'm testing um, you can change all kinds of things with these um, first thing I usually do is make sure I have the level height and stuff um, correct you can change all of this um, basically as you go down it gets taller and shorter um, so this is really tall and it's only one screen wide so if I if I select that one it's gonna do one of these and if I go back to zero it's gonna go back to short and really long um, um, some other things, these are special spawning things, so something I learned very recently actually is this SP um, right here on the tag. You'll see all of these have special um, things on them. This one is 60 and 9F, so if I go to, this is in sprite memory, so if I go to sprite 60, um, nice, or 9F, if I go to 9F, this one will work with regardless of memory left in the in the rom uh, for sprites which i don't know how that works but it's cool that one doesn't add to to lag um what else there's some cool stuff you can do with um layer two which i don't think barb covered in his tutorial so I'll mess around with layer 2 some. I'll do some layer 3 stuff for sure. Um, background, and I'll do um, graphics editing, um, animating graphics, stuff like that. Palette animation, I'm not sure. I'd basically just copy that from other hacks if I need it. So, um, And I'll do some overworld stuff also, which I always zoom in one also. Um, overworld isn't as complicated as it looks, um, so I'll probably do that towards towards the end, maybe. But, yeah, so first thing, um, before you extract, uh, before you extract your, um, um, graphics, make sure that this is unchecked, because, um, you, if you don't uncheck it, it'll all be bundled together somehow, and it's not easy to work with at all. So then you extract with these buttons, and so now you'll have um, this, these folders in your ROM. This will have nothing in it, and this will have all of the original folders. And um, this is what you want yychr4 you will, that's what you'll use to open these and you can see this has a bunch of this one has a bunch of sprite um, graphics in it um, I'll be getting more into that stuff later but um, first um, you have to make sure that you look at the overworld and and see that this tile here well we'll use this one. Um, you can only have levels from zero, from zero doesn't actually work, zero is a bonus game level. Um, you can only have levels on the overworld from one to, um, I believe it's 24, yeah. And then from, again, from 101, like, and it goes pretty high actually, to 13B. And, um, so don't build the start of your level on 25 because you won't be able to access it from the overworld and you'll have to move it and it's a pain in the ass um, but yeah so basically um, what I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna have like something that can kill you so I'll use this I suppose um, you you play stuff with um, right click I'm basically just throwing in a bunch of random beginner facts in case you didn't know but 
um, most of this easy stuff, I guess, basic, just lunar magic stuff can be found in Varb's tutorial. Um, so definitely check that out. Now, um, whenever I insert a patch or anything, I close lunar magic. Um, that's because sometimes whenever you insert a patch, it'll change the ROM back if you um, save over it with the original lunar magic tab open. So um, here's where we have this retry patch, right? And so I'm just going to drag this onto the desktop here. We have all of our um, retries, retry stuff in there. Um, now, I usually make a folder for, for retry. Um, and then I'll probably just move all of this in there. So now all of that is in that um, folder. Now I now you can delete the zip file. So now um, there's a README. You can um, you, I recommend highly reading every README um, if you're thinking of using a, a patch or or an ASM or a sprite or something, um, or just at least skim through it. It's very useful. So you can edit all of this kind of stuff. Um, um, in, in the retry table, um, so for this, uh, we, I think we want zero two, which is, um, play the sound effect and skip the prompt as if yes is chosen automatically. Okay. And then, um, I always like setting this as, um, five, not zero, zero. I always like putting that as five. I don't know, that's just me. And then the midway power up, if you want it to be small. Um, I think that's all I want to change for this one. Um, so how you will insert, insert this is notice the, just, if you read the readme, it'll tell you this, but um, you're going to want to open ASAR which I have not opened yet, so it's going to have me do that. And um, then you can enter the patch name. And what I always do for this is you just drag the file over, um, and you can hit enter. And then you can drag the ROM over, and then you can hit enter. And it will say, if there's an issue, it'll usually tell you what line it's on, and... and um, you'll be able to go and find that. Um, usually, there isn't an issue, and if there is, it's because you extracted something wrong and you have to re-download it or, or um, re-extract files. And so this, we have to use a new save file for, um, just because the um, um, that's, that's how most patches work, is you have to use a new save file for them to become active. So I'm going to fast forward and save state again. So here, if I die, we now have retry. And it works. Hold on. Let me turn on. Great. No movie. That's, um, that's pause. Um, pause. Okay. Dang it, I did not mean to change that one. Um, I don't know how I turned on input display I was going to, because that's just how it is on my other thing. Um, there we go. Okay, so... Um, you can see at the bottom, usually if the patch messes up with SNES 9X at least, or if um, something goes, something screws up, some format that needs to be present, um, the display, the overlay is going to be yellow, so it's going to be, instead of black and white, it's going to be black and yellow, and um, that will that is usually what uh, will tell you something is wrong. Um, hold on, and then open this with Lunar Magic. So this is our 
our level again. Um, you can close that now. Um, what do I want to cover now? Okay, so now that um, you have some kind of patch in, um, in order to make it a layer 2 level, you're going to have to look at these settings here, which are going to be layer 2, um, interact, and what is on the layer 2. So layer 2 here is now on the level, um, but you still can't interact with it. Um, now you can interact with it. So if I do this, it'll erase my background, right? And now I can select this tile, which is going to be the layer 2 editor, and um, place stuff on it. Um, so let's say I do something like this. Okay, look, um, if you want to see where the layer 2 is as opposed to layer 1, well, 1 you can just highlight like this, but you can press 1 to disable layer 1 and 2 to disable la layer 2, so that makes it um, easy to make sure everything's extended and whatnot. Now, layer 2 sprites, um, they're going to be, oops, um, you can usually just type in layer 2, and um, this will show you whatever that is. Um, you can use just like a scroll, which I'll put that there for the sake of this, oops, for the sake of this um, tutorial, just having something there. Um, so now this will scroll, but um, it kind of follows you, and it's kind of all screwed up. Um, so... This is basically the reason I didn't use Layer 2 at first, ever. Um, I'm going to move this down so it's a shorter range. The range means just how far it moves <clears throat> before turning around and going back. Um, how you change this is you go to um, this box and um, this is background or layer 2 scrolling rate and um, I think this is just the option you have it on um, you want V scroll to be none and I think H scroll is constant but I'm not sure why H scroll is constant that has always pissed me off I think this is the one that works so yeah um, It's, it's not scrolling with me, it's staying there, which is what, what we want, and you can interact with it. Now, um, you fall off layer 2 faster than you fall off layer 1. Um, I don't know why that is, but um, that's an easy way to tell if um, your layer 2 is um, interacting properly. Alright, what else? Um, we'll do graphics animating now. I'll, I'll, I'll do that, I guess. Um, so for setting up X graphics, I usually just copy one of these and then paste it over here. Um, and then, um, X graphics are, are from 80, um, up, and, uh, you just can't have it, um, uh, any other way so you can delete all of this I just dropped stuff right okay and um, for for palette stuff because um, obviously you don't want to just edit with this like rainbow color you I you are going to want to click this star which is the palette window gonna extract it I usually make a um, folder like this and then I usually name it by the level in Lunar Magic which this one is 105 so now you can go to um, open palette um, great ROM and now you can open that and so now you have basically what's what it's gonna look like in the level. Um, so 
you can draw things. Um, basically what I suggest is just mess around with the um, tools. This color on the very far left, far, yeah, left, that's left. I sometimes screw saying left and right up. Don't judge me. Um, will always be the background color. So this will show up as just that square and nothing else. There will not be blue. Um, so, I don't know, let's, I'll make this. And then I'll animate it to flash between these red colors. Or orange colors, I guess. Okay. So, you have like a four block, I guess, animation setup. So I'm going to move these um, separate. Okay. So, how animation works. And you're going to want to make, you're going to want to draw your things, then you're going to want to put them next to each other like this. This makes animating them smoother and easier. Um, and um, the top half and the bottom half of the block will not lag behind each other if you do it this way. So you're going to want to line them up like, like this or... Um, You can also put them, like, say I wanted this yellow one up here. You could also put them all sideways to each other, or as long as the same color is lined up the way that, that um, I have it here. So then you can hit save and close it out. Um, now if you hit this um, golden mushroom with an arrow, it'll insert all of that and reload the graphics so it'll load it into Lunar Magic so you can see it. Now this is super important. Okay, um, whenever you open this window you have to hit Control shift page down and you can see here it'll, it'll say sprite map 16 viewing unlocked um, and then if you do this one um, if you had this one open it would say um, something like X animated frames unlocked. Um, but what that allows you to do is scroll down further and you can see all of this. Um, I didn't really explain that well, but that's okay, I suppose. Um, um, here, you want to change this to whatever number you had your thing at, and you can see here, this is now loaded. Now, I can't put that here. Um, as you notice, I just tried to. It's blank. That's because you can't put these in um, map 16 directly. You have to animate them first. And you can change palette, by the way, by pressing um, page up and page down. So this is the palette that we wanted. Now, you have two options for animating. You have this brick, which is level. This is if you only want this animation in this level. And you have global, which is if you want them in all levels. And so I'm going to use global here. Um, the, the only problem with global is it saves time, but it let's say you put it here. You can't use this slot. Let's say you animate it to here. You can't use this slot for any other graphic besides that one that animated graphic. So global has been an issue before for me, but um, it definitely saves time if you're making a lot of levels with the same animations. Um, so here, slot is just so you can animate multiple things at the same time, basically. And then type. For type, pretty much always put it as um, this because this is the layout we have it in. The four 8x8s right here make one 16x16, 16 16, which is going to be one block. And then the trigger, you can tr have it trigger different ways. 
Um, for example, if I had it on off, I could set it to only flash between these two colors, and then whenever I hit the on off, flash between these two. Um, but for this, we're just going to have none, so it's always going to be flat um, animated. Um, by the way, how how if you had a like a pow, it says times two. Um, say you wanted it to flash between three here. Um, you you'd put these three those three slots, and then you'd put three of whatever you wanted. So just this one, it'd be three of the same one next, because you have to have the same amount of frames of animation for both. Um, Um, types of the block, like both versions, I guess. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, leaving it as none, you don't have to deal with all of that. Um, but, you know, changing that is necessary sometimes, so it's useful to know. So you're going to see down here it says tile, and that's where you're going to get the numbers. So 780, 790, 7A. And 7B0. So 780, 790, 7A0, 7B0. Right? And so frames, this is going to be four frames. And now you need to find a destination. Right? So this is where you want it to show up. We'll select just here. So this is going to be 200. 200. Okay. And now we have a glowing. Um, we'll make this a death block, which is acting as a muncher. Yeah, so this is tile 12F, act as 12F, and this is now tile 203, act as 12F. So this is a muncher. This is basically just a death block, even though it's terribly animated for being a death block. So now you can test this in your ROM. Did I overload? something so this is what happens with global animations sometimes you over you overwrite um the animations or graphics of some other thing and i think that's what i did here unless if i reset the rom it fixes but i don't think that'll happen because sometimes if you reset it it'll fix um okay it is fixed um, sometimes it does fix if you reset it. So, yep, that's a muncher. And, I mean, it's a crappy animation for being a death block, but it is a death block, so... So that is, um... Technically successful. Um... Dang it, I keep clicking the wrong button. Okay. What do I want to do next? Um, I'll insert a custom sprite. So, for inserting a custom sprite, you're going to have to get Pixie. Open, please. Thank you. Um, Pixie is going to be... Yeah, okay. Pixie is going to be a window just like ASAR. Um... Um, where you just drag and drop um, the the ROM. However, how this one works is, well, just slightly confusing. You're going to have to use the README, of course, always use the README. But here you're going to, in your ROM area, you're going to want a thing called um, list. And this is going to be set up with just a list of of all of your sprites right here right and um so first we need to find a sprite so go to smw central of course and find some kind of thing what is all All right, so I'll get the poison mushroom because this requires putting in your putting in graphics as well, and um, so here we have the ASM file. Here we have a CFG file, and here we have a JSON file. Um, 
I'm gonna delete the JSON file. Actually, no. I'm gonna open this to see. Hold on. Okay. So this one actually comes with a JSON file, which you can insert, and I will explain that later. But we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to create your own and um, how to make the um, graphics show up in Lunar Magic. So first, you're gonna wanna, of course, copy the ASM and CFG file, and you're gonna wanna put those in the Pixie folder under sprites. So now, we have these two under sprites, and if you open this with um, a notepad, you'll see that this is just a text document um, to direct you to this text document, which is the main sprite coding. Um, so, I'm gonna go back to our list, which is list.txt, and if you type in zero, 00, and then space it out like a tab or just four or five spaces, I'm don't, I don't think it exactly matters. I always do four spaces because that's the one, that's what I heard somewhere. Um, I don't think it actually matters that much though. Um, but I stick to four spaces because that's just, I guess I have it. Um, and now you need um, this, you need to put poison mushroom dot cfg in there um hold on yeah okay um sometimes this isn't an in, isn't an extension um so you i like because this is a new desktop i had to check um i set mine to not show the extension um on my other like user on here but so now if you go back to here, you can open Pixie, this is, and then you can ins insert, just drag and drop the ROM, and it'll insert, it'll tell you if there's any issues or anything there. So now, um, if you go back to downloads, you saw it came with graphics and palette. Um, don't use the pal mask. I don't know why it exists. If somebody knows, tell me, because I don't. So just copy these. Um, um, and then cut this one and put it in here. And you can rename this 81 going in order or, you know, whatever you want. And then I always open these to see what... Um, slot this is in so this is going to be replacing i believe one right because if i go open one this should have the berry yeah so that's replacing this in in the um one tile map so we go back to here now we have the sprite inserted, right? But there's more stuff to do still, of course. So if you insert the palette of this one, um, that is a lot of palette changes. I'm not sure why it changed that much, but um, okay. Um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to copy this color, and I'm going to paste it. Oh, oh, great. Okay. I'm just going to leave it. Because these are sprites, so I'd have to edit it elsewhere. Okay. So, in order to edit palettes, you can open both of these with YYCHR. Um, and in order to edit palettes... Basically, you just scroll to wherever you want to edit to edit, and then you can copy over things. So, twenty-eight, eight, eighty, and then this is kind of tedious, but it's effective.
and so you just you can just copy these over 90 30 e8 um one more 98 f8 Okay, and then you can, you have to hit save, and then save it over, in order to actually replace it, um, replace the palette, and then you can hit insert graphics, and then insert your palette, and so now you can see that this has these colors there, and for your graphics, we said, um, this one is replaced by 81, so we're going to replace that. And you can see if you hit Control shift page down, you can see if you scroll all the way here, you have all your sprite animations. Um, that somewhere in here will be a poison mushroom. Maybe. Well, it should be. I don't know. If you go, <laughs> it might not show up in there, I guess, apparently. I don't, I'm not positive. Okay. Well, apparently it doesn't show up. I, did I insert it wrong or something? Actually, gen genuinely confused why it's not showing up. Okay, regardless, we can. <laughs> now I look like I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, now if you go to Sprite Editing Window here, which is this green shell, you hit Insert. Um, you can type in whatever number you have in there, so it's zero, and then usually it's two. Read the README. It might say otherwise. I think this one is two. I've used this one before. I think it is two. Um, if it's, if it uses three, usually what the extra bit there does is it changes the, um, properties somehow. Okay, so now you can see we have this sprite in there that is a poison mushroom successfully inserted and it kills you. Okay, so now, how do I get this to show up as a poison mushroom in Lunar Magic? This is something that I learned like three days ago, actually, and I just did with all of my um, sprites yesterday. I literally just did this with all of my sprites yesterday. So this is kind of confusing, but I figured it out a few days ago. And, um,. It's not that complicated once you once you um, know what you're doing. So this is the config editor, CFG editor. Um, I think it I think that's config, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just stupid. Okay. So you want to go into your sprites, and you're gonna want to open this with the CFG editor. So you're gonna want to open, and then. go to sprites and then open that so now you have the um, palettes palette that it's using which is going to be whatever um, this is probably the one that you'll change the most this is all kind of like you can these are easy to figure out you just read them and you can see um, this is how you determine what shows up in Lunar Magic. So here, if I go, okay, hold on. So these are your graphics. Now we replaced one with 81. 
so you can open that one and that should maybe show up have the poison mushroom part show up it might not apparently because it didn't in the rom so something that you can do is you can make your custom I was really hoping that it would show up this is this is I feel like this is too complex for a tutorial now but okay I'll show you how to how to do this it shows up as an X you can press control shift page down again go all the way to the bottom right and then here you can see there is a blank spot so if you go all the way down here to your poison mushroom you can paste this in here then you can change the palette to you know the um, correct one and now you have this here now if you press Control f9 it'll save the first four pages of this which just happens to save this you can also press Control shift f9 to save everything but the first four pages so anyway now we have this in here okay that's quite a bit of stuff um, that's happening um, so now um, I accidentally closed this great um, I have to go back here open this one. okay now remember where we placed that we pasted it right here so you want to delete this X and put this one here then you can write a description here poison mushroom and then save as and save and now what you have in here is you have the JSON file which is going to be probably pretty much the same as the one that it came with but I mean that's okay now in the list.txt we're gonna change this to JSON and now you have to insert the sprites again so reinsert everything and it says all applied successfully that's good that makes me not look that makes me look like I actually do know what I'm talking about and now it shows up the um, correct way in lunar magic um, so that's that's the um, graphics in lunar magic is basically a quality of life thing and the way this works is it makes a nice it makes a um, file that the that lunar magic reads that has the description here and then the um, memory for the map 16 of where it draws the graphics from so it's kind of confusing but it's super useful um, if you're using a lot of custom sprites you can have um, your your own descriptions in there and as we saw earlier um, some sprites actually do come with one automatically um, like this one just happened to most don't but I just happened to pick one that did which is kind of unfortunate but that's okay um, so yeah that's that's custom sprites you can do that with basically every sprite um, what should I go into next block I can do blocks I actually put these uh, um, here in order of how I learned them um, so I just did pixie which was the last thing I learned and I'm still learning a lot of things with and I did that like first so that was probably pretty dumb of me but I'll do blocks now which you're gonna need a tool called um, I believe it's gopher popcorns too I don't know why it's called that but it is and um, so this is going to be the same kind of thing as pixie except the list is going to be in this folder it's gonna be in the folder that the um, application is in that all of the blocks the blocks in this folder are going to be in so 
template. I didn't know. This must be a new version. I don't think the one I got a while ago came with a template. Um, that's cool. Anyway, um, let's grab some blocks to get. Um, I don't know. Let's get the... Okay. So, there's a couple types of block that you can insert. Now, there's ones that are like this, which require Uber ASM to insert. Ones like this, which require sprites, pixie, to insert. And those are a little more complicated, so I'm going to try to find one that's not requiring either of those. Um, a little sticky ceiling, maybe? All right, I'll get the this one. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna move that onto the desktop. So here we have in the folder, we just have this ASM file, right? Which, gosh, I have a bunch of stuff. And so what you're gonna do with that is you're just gonna move it into the blocks. You can see here, there's probably gonna be a bunch of stuff that um, a lot of blocks have things that you can edit in them. Um, things that are commented, commented a lot like this are usually more editable. This one is not editable. Editable, which is, that's a weird word. Um, but, so now we have this, and I'm going to copy the name of this, just because it makes it easier. You don't have to keep going back and forth and put it in the list. Now this acts the exact same way as, oops, that's not right, the exact same way as Pixie, right? Um, you type in the number on the map 16 that you want to show up, though. It's not custom number, so you can't start with zero because that would replace this. This is overall number. So let's say I want to put it here. This would be 213. This one would be 223. This would be 224. This would be 214. So if I want to put this here, I'm going to put in 213 in the list. So this is going to be 213. And then space it out. Um, I usually do three, two or three tabs here because, well, there's some other things you can do with this. Um, And so what this does is, this is the place that you want it to be at. This is the block you want it to act as. So this is 130, which is just stone. The colon is what separates it. That's how that's how the program knows how to read it. And then this is the file that um, you read from in the blocks folder. Um, make sure that this, whatever file that is, is in the, well, wrong, is in the blocks folder because that's what the program automatically reads from. Now, here, hopefully this works so I don't look stupid. Okay, it works. It says all applied successfully. Again, with that program, it'll show you what went wrong. If something went wrong, it'll tell you where it went wrong. And sometimes that can be confusing. You might not know what went wrong, but um, a lot of times you will. So this is another uh, description file, um, similar to the one that Pixie created. Um, this is a different one that Lunar Magic reads from. So this um, is the tile. This is, I don't know what that is. And then your description that um, is written at the bottom of this ASM file. I can actually show you this here. So if you go here, there's going to be a description. It's going to, well, might be at the top maybe. Yeah, print. And so this is the description. Um, it's pretty simple, I guess, um, block, um, inserting blocks, I never found to be that, that d difficult, but, so now here we have this block, and hopefully this works, we have no graphics for it yet, um, but graphics for blocks 
you can just use whatever graphics are in the game. Well, maybe it's not working. Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. Maybe this is one of the few blocks that you actually can't set to act as. There are some blocks that, because all of their coding is actually in the block already, you can't have this act as tag on it at all. Which, you know, you just have to work around. And that's something that happens not too often, but often enough where I kind of just automatically knew what was probably wrong with it. So, um, since I just inserted something, don't I'm not going to save because sometimes that screws things up. Dang it, not sure. Because sometimes that screws thing up, things up. Cool. I had to make sure that still had the... Dang it, I keep pressing wrong buttons. Okay. So, now, this should work, maybe? Maybe? Is this not... Is this seriously not working? Do I seriously look like an idiot right now? I actually... Now I genuinely have zero idea why this isn't working. Okay, well, I'm gonna put in, um, graphics now for it, because I can. I genuinely have zero idea why this isn't working. Oh, never mind. It might be because I don't have a new file. Some, I, I, uh, sometimes forget to open a new file. A lot of times when you enter stuff, a new file helps. But hopefully it works? No? I don't know. I don't know. Now I look like an idiot because I'm trying to make a tutorial and don't know what happened. Okay, what if I move the block to here? Just, I don't know, somewhere. This probably won't change anything, but it might, and if it does, I'm going to be kind of mad. Okay, so now this should be here, right? Yeah, all right. So this might work now, hopefully. I'm gonna get a new file. Oh, great. Okay, if this doesn't work, I might actually be pissed. It doesn't work. I don't think this is me inserting it wrong. I don't think it is. I, I don't think it's my fault, actually. Maybe I'll try it with a different block and see. I don't think you do. I don't... That No, no, you don't. I'm trying to make a freaking tutorial, and I can't do it. Oh, also, I don't have a text or a chat box on the screen. So, I don't know. I, I don't, I actually have no idea. Maybe I'll try it, I'll just try a different block. Because that shouldn't have had an issue, I don't think.
Okay, this one says act is 25. Okay, maybe if I make it act as 25, because it says act as 25. On the, on the website. I actually have no clue. Okay, now it's working. Maybe just read things correctly is what you need to do. Yeah, that was kind of... <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous, though. Okay, so read um, directions correctly. Maybe read the readme. That might have been in the readme. Because I definitely did this with no issues the first time. Um the first time I used this block, so I was definitely not expecting to have that much trouble. But, so, that is why you should probably read readmes, or just information that's on the website. And, um, yeah. So I'm gonna make two more of these that act like, um, what is it? Nice. 2OF. So now, if I set these to act as 2OF, which is that, they will now act as whatever block I set 2OF to act like, if that makes sense. So now, now that mm, now that I've set this to act as something, now these acting as that block will now be correct. That's kind of it's it's not easy to to I guess explain, but. So now we have a sticky ceiling, but it looks the same as a normal ceiling. So what I often do to indicate things is add something above or underneath it, or um, change graphics somehow to indicate that. So the easiest thing to do is add some kind of um, color change, or or um, I think Barb did this. under under those blocks so now you can act, make this act as 25 which is air um and now you can visibly see that there's something going on there or not did i just not save it am i an idiot and didn't save it great i didn't save it that i i hardly ever forget to save it too so now you can see that there's something going on here um, and you have the poison mushroom and the death block things. Um, so, yeah. What should I do next? Um, I'll do Uber ASM, I guess. So, hopefully, this one is definitely more confusing than blocks. So, hopefully, I don't screw it up entirely like I did with blocks. That would be embarrassing. So, yeah, there's tabs here on SMW Central to use um, for whenever you're looking for specific things. Just thought I would point that out. Um, let's find, let's, let's do a screen. Wow, caps lock. Um, screen wrap. Um, maybe. Yeah, oh, it's level wrap. Jeez. Okay. So, I'm going to download this. All right, and we're going to do this um this wrap which is going to be Of course, read the readme. So, this one is really short. This is Probably the simplest I've ever seen, but um, I think we're gonna want this one because it's top and bottom of the screen. So, horsewrap.asm. 
because it's horizontal, you know. Um, and then you want to put put whatever it is in library, or in, not in library, in level. I <laughs> stupid. Okay, and then for the list, um, basically just go to level and 105. Wait, hold on. I think it's a colon. No, it's not a colon. Nice. Okay, so 105, and then we want um, this, right? I don't think caps don't actually matter, but I like to have them line up. Just that's me personally. And then here, I think we have this named ROM, right? And so you want to make sure that this is your ROM name. You want to make sure that this is the right level and this is the right um, file in the thing, in the um, list. Now, what you actually have to do is you have to move your ROM over and um, then just run this and it will work on its own. You don't have to dry, um, um, drag anything into a uh, a window or anything. So now, um, don't because you used Uber, Uber ASM. Dang it! Nice. Um, don't have R automatically to reset. Okay, so you want to load a new file because it's a new um, thing, and so now you have your screen wrap enabled and you know that's cool or whatever I, I i don't know like that's how that's how you insert um uber asm things into specific levels now you can't really have multiple things in one level like there's a bunch of workarounds you can use but they're not they're a little tedious to do, so I just avoid it. And I'm not going to try to tell you the workarounds because I don't remember them, really, myself. So it just turned into a giant mess. Okay, what else should I do? Music. I haven't done music yet. Some music stuff. Um, just basically go to music. Listen to some, listen to some music. Find, find some kind of music that you want. I'm, I actually use this in my hack. What? Actually, no. This is a, that was a different port. Okay. So let's just download this one because this is the top one. And um, move these files into music. Um, a lot of times what I do is I actually just label them by level, so 105 is the level that we're editing, right? So, label them by level. This is, um, if you have the, uh, program, I think it's on SMW Central, you can actually play these. I think it's SPC 700, I think is what it's called, if I remember right. Tools. Um... SPC. Yeah, this one. Um, so if you download that, you can actually play these and listen to them um, not in the game. But anyway, add music. K is probably the easiest to use because it's got a, a GUI that you can just use to add a new song and then just click it and then hit run. And then just click your ROM. Okay, and I forgot to insert the samples because I'm an idiot. Um, did I delete the download? I deleted the download. What a genius. What a genius. Okay, so you want to put in... There's not samples. Hold up, there's not samples. It didn't come with samples. Did it say it was sampled? N 
none. Okay, so I'm actually not sure why this isn't working now. Um, So, why are the original... Okay, why are the... Hold up. This should have... Why are the optimized samples not in there? Doesn't it come with the optimized samples? Am I being an idiot? There is no D sample. Uh, it's it's just not in there. I genuinely have zero idea why. Okay, I'm gonna have to just make it do redo an entire freaking stream for this because this is this is totally screwing up everything. So. You know, maybe I'll try, like, this song or something. So I think this one is sampled, right? Yeah, it's sampled. So this one is sampled, which means if I go here and go to music and go here and delete this one because it's not working for some reason, and I just move these over, now you want to move to samples you want to move the sample folder make sure the sample folder is not also in the folder here or else it screws up for some reason now you go down here change to this one run um yeah no i don't know why there isn't do i have to just re-download ah uh, download show in folder. Yeah, um, it just I have no idea why it didn't. That's freaking weird. It didn't download all of them the first time or something. Okay, I'm not the one who failed. I'd like to point out that I, I didn't majorly screw up this time. Okay. So now it's now it's now it's working. And so now you'll have like things like this in here. Um, I'm not sure you'll have I think the M sixteen one is the one that I don't remember. Um but anyway, oops. When you go to this, you by bypass it, and then you go down, and here is the one that we downloaded. So now, if I finally go to the ROM, this should work. Maybe? Did I break it? Oh, it's because I didn't go on a new file, I think. Here? Here? Yay! It's working! Let's go! Go team! Woohoo! Okay, so now we have a bunch of custom stuff in here. And it's all, it's all working, it's all good. Um... What else? I guess I'll do some Layer 3 stuff now. Well, am I missing... I'm not missing anything from here. I've gone over all of this stuff in basic. Um, I'll go over more of it if for like some reason you need a combination of stuff. I'll do all that later. Um, I kind of like, it's just inserting stuff. Most of everything is explained in readme's, but sometimes it's not. Um, and of course, it's kind of nice to hear somebody explain it. So what am I doing now? Uh, graphics. 
Um, oops. Nice. Okay. Um, that's not what I wanted. Let's get some clouds. Clouds. This one, I think, is the one that I usually use. Um, okay. So now we have some crazy stuff in here. It's like, whoa, what even is, the f what even is this? You know? Because that's basically what I was thinking. I was like, why are there so many files? And um, there's no readme, so what do I do? Um, anyway. This is... Basically, this is the graphics. LG4 is graphics. Um, and then LT3 is where it's mapped. That's basically all you have to know. So just copy. I don't think, like, either of them. You can move them around. It doesn't really matter. Um, but actually, copy. Oops, I was not holding control. Copy all of these, I guess. And move them into here. And so... Um, rename this one 82 and then rename this one 83 so it's gonna be 82 and then 83 right and then you can open this palette and see how it's different from um, your palette basically it's just these two colors are changed um, so, ROM, oops, open this with Lunar Magic, and then insert graphics, and then here, this is LG4, so we can do 82, and then this one is going to be 83, and now we have that, and then insert that, oops, insert it, that palette, and bam, we have some things done. Now, here's the issue. We just made our poison mushroom not the right colors, right? So now we have to instead reinsert this, right? What we have to do now is go open this one, go back over here, and copy that over to here, which is a pain in the ass a lot of the time so like there's a lot of palette copying that you're gonna have to do and there's basically just no avoiding it this is actually probably the easiest way to do it um, unless you have a palette that's used in another level and I'll I'll explain that here in a second palette save here replace yes okay um and then now we can insert that and it should work everything is fine now there is a way to copy palette stuff so if i wanted to um let's say i wanted to copy this purple color over you um left click hit okay and then you can right click okay then you can right click and it will edit somewhere else so um, sometimes it's protected by Uber AFM or something, some, I forget what it said now on the pop-up. Sometimes it's, some ASM makes it where you can't change it, and so that, then you actually have to open up the, um, original, the, um, palette file in YYCHR. God, I can't. I shouldn't have done this today. I can't think today, apparently. Um, anyway, um, you have a bunch of options here if you enable advanced layer 3 bypass settings. And so, I'm not entirely sure what this does. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure. Um, this moves it behind everything. So, um, this is, it says affects layer 3 status bar. Um, most hacks 
now at least patch out most of the status bar so this doesn't usually change anything i use this but um basically what this does is it moves it behind everything and sometimes sprites will disappear behind it even if um like they're in front of the foreground but the and the layer three is behind it so that's basically the only time i ever use this um you can have a bunch of auto scrolls um you can have a bunch of like scroll settings in general so let's say i put it on normal um the offset moves it down slightly but um here's the real um stuff you you can load layer three here if you go to file and then you can actually um change it so i always like to get rid of these clouds nice um so now whenever you hit save it'll save to whatever level whatever level you had loaded here and all you have to do is insert and bam you have it set up so here this should have to grab the controller right all right this should now have a bunch of stuff in layer 3. So now, because you have layer 3 as a background, you can actually have layer 2 as a foreground. And um, so let's just um, do this, I suppose. If I move this up here, this is all layer two, and then I can go back and insert my scroll here. That is a special scroll. Great. Um, oh, this is auto scroll. Genius. Me being a genius. Okay, this is the one I want. So now, we have layer 2 and the background. And that pushes me off and goes behind. So that's basically all of the, like, basics for layer 3. There's a bunch of crap you can do with layer 3. And I'm not... I'm not entirely, like, great at it myself, so I'm not going to try to pretend that I am, but you can't, um, look up or duck, I was wondering if you could, so that's quite a bit of, quite a bit of stuff covered, actually, in only an hour and a quarter, um, <laughs> Anything, anything that I should repeat that you just didn't get, by the way? Like, if anything sounded stupid? Um, I'm going to do... blocks that require sprites and um, these are donut lift blocks this is probably the most common of this type of um, thing so we have graphics for this which I'm gonna make a new folder basically for um, donut for that and then we have the block in GPS which by the way for the custom sprite you're gonna want to change that whenever you copy it over to whatever sprite um, it is so we're gonna move this to here GPS move this to blocks and then this is gonna be as custom sprite one that is important um, Okay, 
And then in Pixie Sprites, you're going to have this Donut Lift, which Pixie, go to Sprites, paste that in. Um, for this one, you won't have to edit the make a, make a JSON file because it's a sprite that is only spawned after you are on a block, so you won't need to insert this sprite ever otherwise, usually, unless you want one like falling from the top of the screen, and I can like see why you might want that, but most of the time you won't use this sprite otherwise because it's just a falling platform basically. So, um, this, of course, the README, which is, you know, useful, has some stuff in it. But here is the blocks. So we're going to want this to maybe be um, 21f um, colon 100 and this is going to be donut block dot asm which I believe is what it was in um, this okay so now we're going to do insert blocks with GPS and so where is the man I don't have my ROM great okay and then you place the ROM in there bam and then for list you're gonna want this to be zero one and then you're gonna want to grab the sprite you're gonna want to do this save that and then insert things like that and now we have this block which will have none of the correct graphics right now I'm going to put it over this gap because it, I'm wondering if it will screen wrap it because I'm not sure. It Well, it will probably screen wrap, but I'm wondering how it will act if it screen wraps. Okay, so that's going to fall. And then I'm wondering if the sprite is solid at the bottom. Oh, well, I suck. Okay, it's kind of solid. So anyway, it has all of the wrong graphics right now. So go go here of course to this and um, copy this graphic and because this is also gonna be in one we can go to here I, I think it's this one right is it no nope, that's that okay it's this one then since this replaces this we can put that there save it and I'm gonna open this palette just to make sure everything is Correct. This was just a black apple. I'm not sure. It might have been this one. I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, then I, we can delete that now. Go into the palette and see what's changed. Something has changed. I'm not sure where. Here it is. Okay. So. This is going to be D8. Eight. So, of course, more copying. Dang it, man. Of course, more copying palettes, which is tedious. Nice. And then more of this. Great. And D8. And 20. There we go. So now it looks 
like the sprite, right? But remember, most of the, this is going to be the palette for here, right? Remember, most of the time, this will actually get darker. So I'm going to just or get redder. So I'm just going to increase the red all the way on these. I'm not sure how much that's going to change anything. It's really not great. So I'm going to... decrease all of these by okay that really didn't change anything either but I mean it's darker now um I don't want to spend forever messing with the palettes, so. Um, I'm just gonna paste this here. Okay, now, since I just put that graphic in 80, I'm gonna oh, put 80 there, and then take this and put it right here, and then of course change the palette to be that, and then now this should work. I'm not sure, I haven't really been explaining too much, I, I don't think, the things that I'm doing. But. Okay, so now, look, this is an issue that I knew we would have. I thought we were going to have it last time, but I didn't jump off of it. Um, this is actually replacing the block with um, a block that is not correct, so... Um, No, I need sprites. Hold up. Um, sprites. If I go to the donut lift, it'll have here the donut map 16 tile number, which is going to be um, 21F. So now we have to insert it again, right? Because we need to remember to replace it with this block after we're done. Right, so move that, insert that. I don't know why I had to reopen that. There, like, I didn't actually have to. I don't know why I did. Um, oh, smooth. I didn't even hit the ceiling. Okay, so now when I jump off of it, it will. I didn't insert the palette also, but it will fall and get replaced by the correct thing now. I should insert the palette. I forgot to do that, apparently. Now it's getting replaced by the correct block, so there's no issues anymore. So yeah, it's slightly darker the palette you'd probably want to change a little but yeah okay that's a that's a weird interaction but I mean that's pretty much everything that I had planned actually I'm not I'll probably make do another stream like this because I was I, like I need to probably plan more for for things like this or at least have more people who are watching but the main reason I did this was so that um, I could put a YouTube video of a bunch of this stuff um, like kind of as a reference point for people that are new to um, custom things um, but yeah I'm I'm not sure what I should do next. Maybe I'll, in because I actually have to switch desktops if I want to do anything um, with my hack. 
I'll have to switch desktops, or I'll have to switch um, users on the computer, which is fun. But, yeah, do you have anything that you want me to go over? Or, no. Like, there, I, I went over a bunch of stuff, I'm not sure... There's a bunch of... Okay, so I did layer 3. I did layer 2. I, well, I did some layer 2 stuff. I did sprites. I did config editing. I did block insertion, music insertion, sprite insertion, Uber ASM. Always follow the readme. I did some graphics. I did some animation. I did palette. I did... Yeah, so basically, I guess that's it. If you just if you just apply all of what I just what I just kind of went over, um, and of course read the readmes. Um, always read the readmes. Most people don't always, or at least skim them. Don't you don't have to like read them, I guess, but like make sure that you are looking for things that are important. Or that could be important. But, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually in stream here and then real quick switch over and start doing something else. I will have this uploaded on YouTube, hopefully, at some point. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be re do, restarting, I guess, restarting the stream on on my other user uh, in a second so yeah that'll be happening hopefully